what's up? What is up? Gravity. Or magnetism. Is responsible for what we think of as up. I was looking up through the skyscrapers the other day and I was thinking, without this thing called gravity, that would just be out. Out yonder. Joy? Joy, Mike? basic premise that something changed in the 2012-ish range. That was the Mayan calendar date, right? 2012. this change was uh, was seamlessly maybe not so seamlessly <laughs> for some of us but sort of seamlessly in other words there wasn't something drastic in your past that you can look to and say oh that that giant internal nuclear explosion was when it happened maybe some of us can do that I'm not sure I know we've all had enlightenment sort of or ego death sort of things where all kinds of things were being shaken up. But it's still not easy to pinpoint exactly when this change may have occurred or what exactly it was. But if you're operating on the general premise that something did change drastically without necessarily wanting everybody to know that a change happened, or at least not directly. But on the, the general premise, and like what Og said, makes some somewhat sense. In other words, that if, if we've moved on from sort of organic life to simulated life, or if we all popped inside of the giant quantum computer some, somewhere along the way, then it would make sense that there are just a whole bunch of them now. There are a shit ton of different realities. There are a bunch of, of uh, parallels, right? Lots of parallels. So, the, the point being that It is beneficial to the individual that finds him or herself in this situation to be able to mentally appropriate ways of living now in whatever parallel you find yourself in. And it's not necessarily beneficial to be retaining a lot of the things that helped you in your life prior to this explosion outward into parallels. Because if there are multiples of parallels that are known about and documented by some higher system, and the way Og is talking about it makes it seem like that might be the case, he said something like, we're on Earth, you know, 
seven two three eight five whatever he he made like a very he he didn't say the actual number but he said something like that to where we're one iteration of thousands or millions or billions even known multiverse aspects that if you have the correct spaceship or mental abilities you can uh, you can move between the iterations something else he said about that possibility was that you always have the right to inquire as to which exact iteration you you are currently inhabiting I don't know who you would ask that question to but <laughs> apparently According to Og, that's that's a, a right that we have, and we all know about rights and how how sort of silly they are. Usually, the when, when you start hearing about rights, that means you're very close to being violated. If if not, you're not currently in the in the process of being violated while someone is t yapping on about your rights. Yeah, the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, all this stuff, right? So, I think it can be important to simply consider that possibility. Consider the possibility that whatever reality you were in prior to 2012 or whenever the split happened is simply not the reality that you're in now. They don't necessarily go into how did this happen, why did this happen, who authorized such explosion, and who can I talk to about it. You don't necessarily need to do that but just to be aware that it's a possibility. Because if you do consider that, and it does make some, some sense, maybe a lot of sense, if you look out, you know, look out at what's going on, it makes sense. But there's every possibility that Whatever worldview you had prior to the, the split, off into numerous parallels, parallel realities, that that just simply doesn't apply anymore. Maybe not at all. Maybe maybe that that old frame frame of reference that you carried, which was your worldview, maybe that has no more relevance to your current situation whatsoever. And. The only relevance that it actually has is the fact that you're holding it as a belief system and other beings and other people respect that you're allowed to do that. And likely everyone else who's managed to land in the same reality as you landed in is in the same boat, so they're not sitting there like having all the pieces put together themselves but what I'm getting at here is that we carry a lot of fear programming from the old reality a whole lot of fear programming from the old reality so if we're carrying that forward into whatever thing that we're currently in and it's no longer relevant as in the control structure that was there does not have the same sway as it does at, in this current one then you're essentially jipping yourself out of possible things that you could be doing here or possible ways you could be behaving possible beings you could be interacting with what I'm saying is it might you all you out there listening might do well to examine and perhaps retry old methods. Maybe in the old reality, you were trying to reach out to people and talk about things, or trying to get a commune, a community going, that's, you're sort of allowed to do your own thing and work the land, etc. And in the old reality, you knew that there was gonna be blowback from the system for trying to do that, and perhaps in whatever one that you landed in, it's just not like that anymore. And what I'm saying is, if you haven't realized that possibly you're in a reality where those sorts of things, nobody gives a shit that you're doing those, and nobody really ever gave a shit in this reality if you were to go out and simply do something on your own, 
with other people or not. You wouldn't know that until you tried the thing that you had previously failed at numerous times. And there's every possibility that you will try this thing again and then fail again miserably. Maybe perhaps worse than before. But you don't know until you try it. Until you try at least meandering in that same thought form. You don't know. Nobody knows. I know that the, the beast mind is still around. That hasn't gone anywhere. It still doesn't want certain things happening and doesn't want other things happening, but I know that it's not as intrusive on me personally as it used to be. It's like a that that mind only wants the form happening like what we know of as society was sort of built on lies and it wants the forms to be submitted it doesn't care about what the content of the forms it just wants forms submitted so like it can make check marks if you neglect to submit the forms maybe the thing will come bother you Super duper Super Bowl Sunday! <laughs> <laughs> 